All right, hey Maddie, and maybe Mallory's watching this, I have no idea. Um, integration by substitution. This is my favorite section out of all of the antiderivative stuff. I like this stuff. Um, substitution is like plugging stuff in, except it's not like substitution and elimination substitution, okay? So it's a little bit different, but substitution is like plugging things in. Circle the word composite function. Oh, I gotta turn my pen on. Composite function, you know what a composite function is? Composite means composed. Composed function. A composed function. What do you know what a composed function is? It's, it's like like in a function. Yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a function that's stuck inside of another function, right? So like if I have like uh, 3x plus 4 and it's squared, right? Like my two functions out of this would be like x squared, but I've taken the 3x plus 4 and I shoved it in there. Does that make sense? Like into that spot. So it's a composite function. It's one function stuck inside of another function. Or they'll do like the square root of 3x plus 4, right? I've got the main. If that's the case, my first function is the square root of x. The second function is 3x plus 4. Both of them? Doesn't okay, know hurry. Because it's Let me start. not her baby. Um, it's the parent's decision. But a lot of parents aren't happy about allowing us to leave huh so i don't know gotcha okay cool Prompt. okay but we gotta get going because i'm recording all right so composite function one function stuck inside of another that is when you know to use substitution hey, okay here we go um uh, sure example one here we go when you're doing composite function substitution, you will know whether you got the right answer or not. Like it, there it fits together, and like you can't solve the problem unless it fits together. So, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna switch variables, okay. and we're gonna change from x's to something called a u variable. Okay, so we're gonna have u's and we're gonna have du's. So the first thing you need to identify is what u and du are out what, of your what function. What is u? Okay, I'll show you. U is the function that's stuck inside of the other function. So, which part of that has a function inside of another? X squared plus one. X squared plus one. This is my U right here. Like, this is stuck inside of the square. So, I'm going to assign U to be X squared plus one. Okay? And then, I need to find the derivative of U, which is what DU says. Okay? So, what's the derivative of that X squared plus one? 2X. 2X. And then the other weird thing that we're going to do is we're going to put dx on the end of that because that is saying the derivative with respect to x. So that's how we like lay out and assign all of our good stuff, yeah? Uh, now we start to substitute, yeah? <laughs> we start to substitute. Okay, so I go through and I just take this integral and I just rewrite stuff. So I have the integral symbol right here, this guy. X squared plus one. This part right here, we have U. changed and we call them U, right? So we have U squared, squared right? Okay, but then this rest of this part, 2X dx. 2X, 2x dx. Yes. What is that equal to? DU. DU. So we're going to change it to this and look at what we have now. Mm -hmm. Something a lot easier. Something that looks icky. Yeah, something that looks icky. So yeah. now we're going to do the antiderivative of U squared. What's the antiderivative of u squared? Two u. No. Two what No. 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 Antiderivative. Uh, one third u. One third. Third. Plus. Q. Uh, du. C. U du. Plus c. What the frick? One third u cubed plus c. Last thing. I thought we get DX. got rid of the c. No. Hey, no, no, no. I no, thought no. we, we don't got rid of c. When we, we when we have when we have numbers to plug in, we got rid of C. <coughs> when we don't have numbers to plug in, we keep C. I'll show you why here in a second. Okay. Now, last thing we have to do is U. We want to switch back to X's. So I have one third U cubed plus C. But what was U? Uh, X squared plus one. X squared plus one. This is your antiderivative using substitution. So, we, so we leave the plus C. You on. leave the plus C. I'll tell you when you can not do that. Okay. Good? And that's the answer? Yes. Happy with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's do this one. This guy right here, I'm going to do off to the side over here. I didn't really leave very much room. Or do we have room over here? Let's do over here. Okay. I'm going to go integral. Integral 5 square root 5x plus 1. This one's going to be a little bit harder just because the antiderivative is gross. Okay. What do you need, Angel? What's up? Because, um, 
I wouldn't do that and then you can't go to the last um, lesson and get my papers for that. Off, I've been gone. When were you, were you here Monday, Monday Tuesday of last week? <coughs> Monday and Tuesday. Was I was gone for FBLA. There was a lot. There was a lesson that you sent out that I didn't have the papers for. The last thing that she'd have done is up through 9-4. That's it? 9-4 four four is the last. Uh-uh. 9-4 is it. And then did you do your thing? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Because there wasn't enough people here for a job shadow, and I forgot about that. So okay. you're going to be good. And that mid-chapter quiz, we're just going to do it as an assignment. Okay. So it's not going to be a quiz quiz. Yeah. So, so you should be all caught up. Okay. All right. So first thing we do is you and do you. U equals, what are you going to set U to be? Huh? What's U going to be? U is five. Nah, U is the stuff inside. What's inside? Five X plus one. Five X plus one. Okay, DU is the derivative of that. What's the derivative of five X plus one? Five. Five. And on the end, we put DX, okay? Integration Whoa. by substitution. This process is a little bit difficult just because here you're doing the derivative, right? Then we get to a point where you're doing the antiderivative. Okay, I'll circle those and identify those here in a second. But you're doing derivative and antiderivative when you're doing substitution. Okay, so we've got all of that ready to go now, and now I'm going to rewrite. So I have my integral symbol, okay? And so I'm going to cross stuff off. Ready? So I, I've rewritten my integral symbol. I'm going to focus on this chunk right here. What's that going to be replaced with? The square root of u, right? Because like we called u the inside stuff, so that will be the square root of u. Now, so I've crossed him off, he's done, right? 5 and dx, even though they're separated, right? 5 dx is equivalent to du. So I'm going to put du on the end there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like we're just chunking and like putting stuff all together, right? Okay, now we have to take the antiderivative of this thing, which is kind of confusing. What in the freak? What in the heck? <laughs> Okay, the antiderivative of u, this is u to the 1 half power. So I need 1 over 1 half plus 1. What's 1 half plus 1? 3 halves. Okay, so, so 1 over 3 halves. So that's 2 thirds u to the 3, two. three halves plus c. Last thing. The inside stuff is put in the square. We switch it back to two x's. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And my u was? 5x plus 1. Confusion? A little bit. It'll get better. Clear as mud. Clear as mud. Okay. What's up, Katie? Are you done with the lesson? No. Are we done here to this corner? No, we're not done. Come over here to the corner and I'll hop back and forth. Okay? Oh, really? Yeah. And I think we just pick a spot. Okay. Shall we do... Let's do this one. Let's do this example because this one has some weird things. Okay? This is the next example. Okay, do you see where it says example and then they say what u and du are? Okay, this one has some weird things. Okay, take note of this because it's a little bit different. Ready? Here you go. Okay, they have assigned u to be this inside stuff, which is 2x minus 1. Agreed? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What do you mean? Okay, so 2x minus 1 is that inside stuff. When we take the derivative of this, like the derivative of 2x minus 1 is 2, and then we put dx on the end, right? Yeah? Okay, now here's the problem. Here's the problem. Let's start to substitute. So I'm going to write my integral symbol first. Here he is over here. Okay? He's done. I'm going to cross him off. This chunk right here is u. Is the square root of u, right? Okay? So he's done. Now I have to find something to replace the dx. A y. Really but the problem u. is I have 2 dx down here. I just want dx. Right? So how do I get rid of that 2 in front of there? Divide. divide. We're going to divide the 2 over to the other side, right? But why didn't we do that before? Because we had a 5 in our derivative right here. Like this 5 right here and the dx got replaced. Does that make sense? There was a 5 in the question to begin with. So we could just replace it. Now there's no 2 to, to move to the other side. So we have to divide them over. So we're going to replace dx with... And rather than writing this du over 2, we're going to write them as 1 half du. Does that make sense? So do you see how dx is equivalent to 1 half du? 
Okay, now, here's how we're going to put them. Ready? But the first I already wrote. Yeah. So dx, we're going to substitute him with one half du. Here's where I'm going to put the stuff. I'm going to put du on the back. I'm going to put the one half on the front. Why? Because. Why because, is it in front because, of the because, x? Because. Because. I want to take the antiderivative and not have to worry about the one half because the one half doesn't affect the antiderivative until the very end. I multiply it through. Okay? So, I just want to leave the one half out in front. Okay? Just wait. We'll get to it. Okay? It'll be fine. All right, now we have to find the antiderivative. So let's just focus on this part and leave the one half just chilling. Okay? <coughs> one half, he's just going to chill. Let's do the antiderivative of u to the one half power. So I have the same as the one part. over one half plus one, which is three halves, which is two thirds, right? This is two thirds. Okay? Wait. U to the three halves power. We just did this, right? Two thirds u to the three halves power. That's what we get for the antiderivative plus b. Okay? Now I just have to incorporate the one half. So what's one half and two thirds? Three, one third. One third. So this is one third u to the three halves power plus c. And last, one third u to the three halves power plus c. And this is two x minus one. Minus one plus one. Minus one. There it is. This is my antiderivative. Woo! I don't like this. I'm going to be completely fine yeah, with you. I like the last one you did. All right, let's do this last one, and then I'll, uh, we'll do the backside tomorrow. Okay, ready? Okay, sure. what are you going to have u be? Uh, x um, squared x minus one. one. X squared minus one. Okay, the derivative of that is 2x dx. dx. We have to have dx on the end. Okay, okay. now let's start to substitute. Hey, whoa, whoa, wait. whoa. What about the x out in front? You just wait. We don't worry about anything out in front or anything besides that until we start to substitute, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's start to substitute. We've got our integral symbol. He's done, gone, okay? I'm going to worry about putting my u in there next. So this chunk right here that I put a box around, square that's going to be the square root of u. Now, take pay attention to the stuff that we have left over. We have an x and we have a dx, which shows up in my du, except it's x dx. I don't need that too, so right? So take one x out. So I'm going to, uh-uh. I'm going to divide by 2, just like we did before, right? Divide by 2. So x and dx can stay on this side, but what's on the left side? One half. Half du. So when I replace, I can replace the x and the dx. Those can cross off, but I'm going to put one half du. Yeah? Does that make sense? This looks exactly the same as what we did above. Huh. One half squared of u du. Okay? Good? Are we good to this part? So we're just dividing over the stuff that we don't need, which usually will be a number, okay? So I have one half. Uh, this is u to the one half power. So I have one over three halves or two thirds u to the three halves power is what that looks like, right? Okay, this is exactly what we did up above. Plus Cross out the twos. So this is one third u to the three halves power plus c. Am I going too fast? Am I, is this crazy? Keep going. You're just going. I'm done. One third, you're done? Yeah, 3 halves power plus c, and we can put that back in, and that's x squared minus 1. Done. Now, I don't understand really quick, where the frick stopping the it. Where, where the what came from? Other x. Where did the other x go? The other x. So, the other x showed up in our antiderivative. So, when we divide this 2 over to make 1 half du, that is equivalent to x dx. So, watch this, Mallory. Ready? X and dx are getting crossed out in my above stuff, and this is getting put in its spot. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, now, real quick, this is the antiderivative. One more thing really quick, this is the antiderivative. Let's say I wanna take the derivative of this. How do I take the derivative of this part? So you multiply back parts of the chain. The chain rule, right? Okay, so I take three halves and multiply down in front. So what's three halves times one third? Three, six. One half. Half. Two. Half. Okay. Two Leave the inside. Okay. Subtract one from this. What's three halves minus one? Negative one half. That's just be positive one half, right? But then we have to take times the derivative of the inside. What's the derivative of the inside? Two x. Two x. What's the derivative of c? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Okay. So what's one half times two x? 
Just x and this to the 1 half power is the square root of x squared minus 1. Is that what we had to start with? You betcha. Look at that ugliness. I do like that. I do like that. Yeah. So you can check your answer, right? It's a really ugly thing, but you can check your answer. And it all has to fit. Otherwise, it doesn't work out, right? Okay? All right, so do you guys have the homework assignment for this? You can start on it if you want to. I know you guys are, like, the seniors are at least getting down to, like, the wire where they're like, please give me all of my things so I can get it done as fast as possible and be that closer to graduation. So if you want to start, you can. This part right here, 1 through 4, is only identifying what you and do you are, and that's it. That's only what you're doing. What is you? What is do you? Done. Don't actually solve it. Don't do anything more. That's what you're doing in five through seven. You can go ahead and solve those ones. So if you want to try five through seven, you can. And actually, really, eight through ten, you could do those two. Okay? Um, I have a question on two. Oh, there you go. On two? On two. Is it just three x squared? No. Or is that that whole thing? Well, isn't it the inside stuff, plus three? x cubed plus three is what I would do. Is you? As you. It's the what? stuff on the inside. Usually if you see a parenthesis or a square root, that's the part that's going to be your you. Yeah? Okay. I'm going to say goodbye, Maddie. Oh, thank you.